Oh, hello builders. It's me, the Gumpla Hunter. So today, we actually are gonna go on a very, very exquisite hunt. It is more winter base. So today we're gonna go and look for some more winter oriented Gumpla, two in particular. But the first one is kind of a little treat. I know a lot of people are kind of iffy on it, but to me, all Gumpla are beautiful creatures. So I'm very excited to go ahead and find this one. All right, let's go on the hunt. So the Gumpla that we're hunting today is a little bit unique, I would say. It's a high-grade mobile doll. Now we don't see these too often. Uh, we've seen them in the wild quite a few times. Uh, I know Krosama, he's covered them on his channel. But this one is a, just a little bit different. Now it's very white, very light blue, and it's just very majestic. It's, a, it's more of a winter-oriented mobile suit, if I should say so, or I should say mobile doll. But it's not, it's not hostile whatsoever. It's very, very gentle and it's more or less nurturing. So when we find it, we would need to be extra, you know, just gentle and sensitive with it. We don't want to spook the little bugger. But once we do find it, it'll be a beautiful, beautiful view to witness. Here we go. It's right here on top of this rock. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently move over there, non-hostile. We're gonna keep our hands up and then just calm it down and then we go ahead and start observing. Let's go. Okay, so here it is, the mobile doll Sarah. Remember, like I mentioned, you keep your hands up. It may not be hostile, but you don't want to provoke it to run away or get scared, you know. So we'll go in there, just calm it down, and let's bring it to a, a new location so we can get some good lighting on it. All right. So what you're gonna do is keep your hands up, and you just stroke on the top. That's it, just like that. And no problems whatsoever, it's calm. So let's go ahead and move to a better location. And here is the cover art. Very gorgeous, if I say so myself. But the uh, the high grade is right there in the top right corner. So this is going to be a little bit larger than our normal SDs that we've hunted in the past. But let's go ahead and take a look at the sides. And right here, it has a real form. Much like the Megami devices and the uh, Frame Arms Girl, it's going to look more realistic. And on the side, you see it has different eye poses and different hands. Now you can convert it to the MS mode, uh, which is the only thing I see changes that some of the panels are going to come up uh, kind of more like thrusters, and then the head is going to change more like a mask coming over the face. But uh, we obviously know this is going to be interchangeable, and it's not just going to be something that you uh, you you put directly over. It's probably going to be its own little unit. And looking here, you can actually pose it in some pretty unique poses if you have the little horror pla with you. This is number 23 in the high grade build divers line. You get a front and rear shots of the kit. And then right here, if you want to go ahead and pause it, uh, you can read all of that if you want. So not going in any order, but you do see it's going to have B1 and then B2 right over here. So B2 just being a small extension of B1. And you look over there, has all the leg parts, it has different feet. Uh, it's also going to have the, uh, the little bottom over there and different hands and other just various places. Uh, looks like these skirt parts as well. And runner E is going to be your white. So it's going to have some polycaps in there. It's going to be looking like the waist unit is there as well. And you got um, what I would say is eyes for number seven. And then some parts for the arm and hands. And runner A1. A1 is going to be more of that purple. And it's just more little polycap parts. You got parts for the joints. Uh, looks like parts for the legs. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the essence of this runner. Runner D is going to be more of your sky blue color and that's gonna be parts for the head as well as the hair. And here's runner A2. A2 is gonna be more of the polycaps as well as just some little other parts on here. 
And here's running C1. Uh, C1 is going to have more of those little, like, skirt panels. Uh, looks very good, very gorgeous. The white is very clean, very, uh, more, more tame, not really too glossy, which I actually do like. And you're going to see the little facial, uh, mask part right there. A little bit of a scary thing it is, but nonetheless, a uh, very nice color. And the last main runner you're going to have is runner C2. Uh, so there is going to be the little faceplate for the real mode. As well as just some more little joints and polycaps right there. And you can get a little sheet of polycaps right here. Now to my surprise, this also includes a stand. Uh, which is fantastic because a lot of people, very hard to find stands in my opinion. And you also get a very small sticker sheet. Uh, pretty easy to paint if you ask, you know, if you ask me. But uh, if you do not wish to paint, it's still going to look very good. And here is the manual. The manual looks very, very good. A lot of information right here about this species. So if you want to go ahead and take a look, you can pause right here and read it. And on the back side, you do see different poses, which look fantastic. So posing this thing is going to be just abundant and very very enjoyable so definitely get to that and it's going to have different descriptions for all the little areas on the little ms mode uh not really any, any descriptions on the real mode but over here on the color guard you are going to have a little bit of a uh, idea of what you're going to want to color it in so make sure you get those paints all ready and that's going to be it for me so let's go ahead and turn to Okay, so here's the end of the video. I uh, definitely want to appreciate this little bugger for uh, being cooperative with us and not causing any too much of a fuss. So I'm going to go ahead and run this down to the sanctuary where Krosama is. He's going to go ahead and build it and he's going to make sure that he gives you a pleasant review. Uh, other than that, it has been a pleasure talking with you lads. And if you can, just go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know exactly how you would like to see these adventures turn out. And like always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next hunt. Bye-bye.